Vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance is now pushing a bizarre conspiracy theory that is taking the right by storm tonight. CNN's Tom Foreman has fact-checked this claim about Haitian immigrants abducting and eating pets in Springfield, Ohio. Tom? Hey, Abby. Even in the toxic political climate of our times, this is a wild claim. Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance, who has railed about a large influx of Haitian immigrants into the rather middle-sized town of Springfield, Ohio, posted, reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. And this claim, which focuses on kittens and ducks, has exploded in the far-right echo chamber, amplified by the Trump campaign, conservative commentator Senator Ted Cruz, Donald Trump Jr., Elon Musk, and more. They are saying and or implying if you elect Vice President Kamala Harris, her immigration policies will put your pets at risk. But to be clear, this allegation against these immigrants is patently false a far-right fever dream which could easily prey upon racist and xenophobic fears. According to Springfield city officials, there is no foundation for any of this. In a statement, they said, we wish to clarify that there have been no credible reports or specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Additionally, there have been no verified instances of immigrants engaging in illegal activities, such as squatting or littering in front of residents' homes. Furthermore, no reports have been made regarding members of the immigrant community deliberately disrupting traffic. Yet, when CNN asked Vance's office why he is pushing such a blatant lie, they said, Senator Vance has received a high volume of calls and emails over the past several weeks from concerned citizens in Springfield. His tweet is based on what he is hearing from them. But again, there is no truth to what he is hearing, and that is easy to check. Abby? Tom Foreman, thank you for that. I, I mean, it's, it's amazing because it, those citizens are hearing conspiracies, and then they're calling J.D. Vance's office, and instead of telling them, sir, ma'am, this isn't true, he's tweeting that it's true and it's not. One, one other thing. Well, we finally I, found cat ladies that J.D. Vance does not hate. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess, of, I guess it all It's kind of ridiculous the amount of time we have spent in the last eight weeks and with this campaign since J.D. Vance got elected talking about cats. <laughs> in the, in Not to mention RFK's bear cubs or whatever he got. Well, and the worm. You know, I, was watch, I was reading a story in NPR about this town, and yes, they've received, you know, a couple thousand, you know, many thousands of, of migrants into a town that's been losing population, but the, the story talks about the migrants attending mass, you know, because they're devout Catholics. I mean, and then you have this kind of conspiracy. I mean, it is racist. Of course it's racist, and that's what's so problematic about it, because, you know, the way Tom Foreman's story is set up, it's, it's kind of lighthearted, but, I mean, this is really problematic, because you're putting people's lives in danger. The, the Haitian immigrants in the community, and Haitian immigrants throughout the country, who may now be targeted because of these things that are considered jokes. Remember the whole, what was it, the Comet Pizza scandal, whatever, that Hillary yep. Clinton was supposedly involved with? She was running a, a child sex pornography ring out of a, out of a, a pizza joint? That's the kind of stuff that they, they, they promote. Oh, then you have, on top of that, what happened to Ruby Freeman. Do you remember what happened? Do you remember a guy so, showed up with a gun exactly my to point. rescue the victims of the sex ring being run out of a basement and of this a pizza is, shop, a pizza shop Thank that you. did not have a basement? Yeah, and, and Brian, this I mean, yeah. look at some of these. Um, I guess now they're memes, but right, right. you can see that this has been, you know, Elon Musk, Stephen Miller, Ted Cruz, official, you know, congressional committees yes. are, are tweeting this stuff out. Uh, has it become a meme, or is it just yes. spreading a conspiracy? It's a meme and a conspiracy. These people can always say, oh, I'm just joking, we're just having fun, but they're also pushing a racist lie. And what they're doing is they're shouting the lie so loudly that they're hoping that their feelings will only be heard and the facts will never ca catch up, right? The local reporting, the local police, the reality will never catch up to the lie that's being shown in the meme. And, uh, you know, I, I find this is what happens when you put your feelings over facts. People feel something's happening, there's no evidence for it, but the feelings are winning out over the fact. And, and, for, and for some background for viewers Major out there, there was an actual video going around of someone eating a cat, which was actually two weeks ago in my hometown of Canton, Ohio, uh, not a Haitian migrant, not in Springfield, Ohio. That got posted on the internet and obviously 
people were saying it was something it was not. Uh, and that's what started this whole firestorm on Twitter and across, across the web. Um, ask- but when you talk about Springfield specifically, I spoke earlier uh, this evening with Lieutenant Governor John Husted in Ohio, who visited Springfield, who talked to a lot of the residents. Uh, and a lot of people now are saying, hey, like these people hate Haitians, there's a lot of animosity, and that's simply not the case. There's actually a lot of empathy for these people that have come and that have immigrated to Springfield. They're talking about the fact that they have concerns, and I think serious ones, about immigration without assimilation. A lot of the people can't read the traffic signs. A young 11-year-old boy was killed as a result of it. I'm not when worried. Someone I'm not a worried. Elon Musk should this. post about that. Th- thank yeah, you. I, I I'm, not, I'm not here to defend Elon Musk. No, I know you're not. But the, the point that I'm making is... making is an, an extremely yeah. reasonable argument. Okay, uh, let's have that conversation. That is right. not what is happening. I'm not worried about the people in, in Springfield, Ohio, because uh, they don't seem to be the problem. I'm worried about... Elon Musk with his platform of 100 million people, however, however many people he reaches. I'm worried about J.D. Vance, a presidential candidate of the United States. I'm worried about Ted Cruz, a senator from Texas. These are powerful people, all associated with the Republican Party, spreading a racist lie, using their power why, why, to potentially hurt David, other, why other hasn't people of color. J.D. Vance taken that tweet down? I don't know. I mean, you shouldn't do it. It's obviously, it's something you could check pretty quickly, right? I mean, it's been it's, hours. It's, listen, I mean, it's, many, a many, lesson, many it's a lesson that everybody should months. learn and everybody yeah. knows around this table. Mm-hmm. You know, before you forward an email or a tweet, you know, maybe maybe look at it, peel it back a little bit, see if it's but true. Because I mean, it, the, mo- the crazier they are, the less likely they are to be true. Would it be cynical to say that he, that he and the Trump campaign, they don't care that this isn't true? No, I don't think it's... I, I, I think at this point, it's kind of moved on to the meme form, like Brian saying, where they have little ducks and fuzzy kittens. And, Has and anybody it, and ever and seen and Donald Trump... Hold a pet with any level of affection. <laughs> oh, that is not, I mean, I mean, I, that's neither uh, yes. here nor there. But. Who thinks that Donald Trump would cuddle with a kitten? I've seen him cuddle kittens. Everyone. And I've seen Please, him cuddle he doesn't kittens. even cuddle Tiffany. Come on, I've seen him cuddle kittens. Okay, all right, everybody.